Hi everyone, Amazing here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful and highly dynamic uh, Excel dashboard from the scratch. In the first video, we've actually looked at the overview of this dashboard. You might really want to take a look at that to understand better what this dashboard actually does. But right now, I'm going to show you how we can actually create this dashboard from the scratch. So right now, let me just give you a little bit of overview before we start creating this from the scratch. So we have this particular feature that actually hide and show our slices. We can place slices as we actually showed our slices and we can actually change from cost of goods sold down to sales, to orders, or to profit, just like we have right now, and it changes. So we might wanna see this based on a line chart. What we still see is still the same analysis, but we are seeing it based on a new chart. So right now, what we are having right here based on the filter we placed right here is actually the sales for 2019 and the sales for 2020. What if we want to actually see it by the top three months of this year? So we can actually change it to the top three months. So this is what we have. So right here we do the same thing and we are having the top three months right here as well. So this is what you're going to actually learn how to create today from the scratch. So today we need to actually first of all create the background and as well get all these cards ready that we are actually going to have our charts in. So let's get on that. So here we are. We decided the colors we're going to be using to actually get it created. So the first we're going to do is for we to actually remove the grid lines. So right now the grid line is off. So we need to actually give it the background. This is the background right here. I'm going to apply it to everything. Copy this. And I'm going to supply it to everything right here. So now we have our background ready. So the next thing we're going to do right now is to start creating those cards that actually place our, our, our charts and that's going to make it much more very appealing. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the top right here and hit on insert and click right here and I'm going to click on this. Oh sorry, I'm going to actually do the top bar for the first time. So for the top bar I'm going to be needing this right now. So what I'm going to do for the top, I'm going to go to the top right here and define the size of it. So the size right now, which is just going to be the height, the height is going to be 0 0.6. 0 0.68. So and the weight is going to be 13.96. 13.96. So if I hit enter, this is what I have. So I'm going to actually make sure I size it at the top right here. And so what is the color of our uh, sidebar, our top bar? So I'm going to actually ungroup this right now and use this right here. So the color we're going to be giving to it is this particular color, color right here. So I'm going to, oh sorry, this particular color is what we're going to give to it. That is the, I'm going to click right here and I, right now I'm going to click on this. <coughs> so right now I have this ready. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is for me to actually create my little uh, cards right here and right here as well. So I'm going to go to the top and actually choose this some, something different. This time around what I'm going to choose is by this particular uh, round one. So I'm going to actually have it right here. But we cannot really some kind of guess what this size is going to look like that is going to actually fit into the canvas we have right here. So what I'm going to do is actually go to the top right here as well and actually choose the height so the height right now is going to be 1.77 0.77 so while we're gonna have the weight to be 2.33 so it's gonna be 2.33 so if I hit enter it's gonna be it's gonna give me the perfect view I really wanted so I'm gonna have it seated right here right now and I'm gonna give it this particular color right now so go right here and select this and actually have it to give it this color. So duplicate this and actually have this right here. So what I'm going to do is to actually make sure I actually change the color to this particular color we have right here. So exactly this is what we have. If we go back to our real dashboard this is what we're going to actually see right there. Can you see what we have right here? Exactly. But right now something is left. We have a particular uh, we have this particular shadow right here, which we don't really have right here I'm gonna go to the top right here and actually hit right on this for my ship I'm gonna go to shadow and from shadow I'm gonna, gonna click on this I'm gonna hit this and I can actually choose to actually give it this shadow 
and I take the transparency off or I can choose to actually give it a particular shape that looks like this so what do we have something very nice right so now it might not be perfect as what you saw right there because we are not actually spending much time what I'm just showing you is just a way to actually have it created and actually you need to actually spend some time to format what you really want so I'm gonna be duplicating this right so what I'm gonna do I have another card right here I'm gonna actually create right now so let's see what the size is gonna be so choose on this format and what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go for the height the height is 3.51 which is 3.51 and the weight is gonna be uh, 4.9 4.9 so I'm gonna hit enter so this is what I have exactly but this is not the color I have for it. I'm going to change the color. But this time around, I'm going to get this away from here. So I'm going to get this away from here as well. So as I've used those colors and I have them available to be used over and over again if I really want to do that. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to actually remove the, uh, reduce this a little bit. And right now, the color I'm going to give to it is this particular color I have right here. I'm going to click at the top right here and actually choose my color nicely. And here we go now this is what i have so the next thing i'm going to do right now i'm going to duplicate this and have the biggest one i have right here seated at the right spot so right now because i've gotten this color i'm going to get this color away this is the color i'm going to have last before i get it off so i'm going to click at the top right here and define the height of this particular one right here so the height is going to be 5.47 which is going to be 5.47 while the weight is going to be 6.1 the weight is going to be 6.1 so when I hit enter this is what I have so I'm gonna actually have to make sure it sits right at its at here so I'm gonna make sure I make it a little bit curvy so exactly I have something nice like this so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually click on this and I have it duplicated so now that I have this duplicated what I'm gonna do right now is for me to actually have my sidebar and for the sidebar I'm going to define my sidebar as well so the height is going to be what the height is going to be 6.2 okay 6.26 6.26 so while the weight is going to be 2.37 2.37 if I hit enter I have something like this oh sorry for that 6.26 oh excuse me okay I have 2.6 okay this is gonna be 6 not 2 it's gonna be 6 okay this is right I'm gonna take it down here exactly this is what we need to have right here I'm gonna bring it a little bit down because I'm gonna be having something at the top right here in the Jeffrey but this is the color I'm gonna give to it right now I'm gonna copy from here this is the color I'm gonna actually have to drop this right here so I'm getting to the right place so right now the next thing I'm gonna do is for me to actually duplicate this for now and I'm gonna have to go to the top and actually define this size so now the height is gonna be what the height is gonna be uh, 2.12 2.12 so and now I'm gonna have this one to be 0 0.47 0 0.47 if I hit enter this is what I have and I'm gonna actually have to turn around and make sure I rotate this exactly so so what I'm gonna have is it's gonna sit right at the top right here so if it sits right here I'm gonna change the color to something different and the color is gonna be something I defined by actually right clicking right here and choose on the former and go to the gradient right here and this is the two colors I have right on this I'm gonna actually change the color to something like this and I put this particular color I have right here so these two colors I have right here right so I'm not really cool with this color I'm gonna change this color to something just like this but this time around I'm gonna actually get a different color by going to these more colors right here I can actually define how I want my color to look like so exactly like this I'm gonna hit OK so right now I can change the direction of this particular color right here now you can see how uh, this everything looks like I'm going to close up this particular aspect and I'm going to say no line so this is exactly what it is so this time around I have another one right here I'm going to be sitting right here so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to duplicate this and actually make sure I actually bring this one to the top left right here 
and make sure I lower it. I'm going to show you on that feature right now. Before I do that, let me just give it this particular color we have right here. So exactly, we've given it this particular color, but we can't really set it and actually make sure it sits right. Let's say it's like this and you want to actually make it right. Just click and actually hold your control and click on this and you want to make it right right now. Go to the top right here and actually click on this format and actually use this particular aspect alignment. So and actually hit on center. So now it's aligned center and you can actually make sure it's on the middle if you want it on the middle but we don't want it on the middle we want it at the top at the top level so i'm gonna click and actually make sure i make them to sit rightly at the same spot i really want them to be so i make sure it's this good and okay like this. i can actually make sure i bring it up a little bit if i really want that and i can actually make sure it i reduce it so now i can get this one away from here this is what i just have like what we have right there so the next thing I'm going to have right now is to have this particular one duplicated. So once I have it duplicated, I'm going to go to the top right here and select this particular uh, the height. So the height right now is going to be 13. Uh, it's going to be 13 point what? It's going to be 13.96. So and the weight is going to be 0 0.68. It's going to be 0 0.68 right here. If I hit enter, this is what I have. Oh, sorry for that. I think uh, I'm getting the wrong one. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to give it some kind of uh, 11.18. That is the height. Oh, that is, this should be the weight. Sorry for that. Uh, this should be the weight right now. This is the weight. And here I'm going to define the height. It's going to be 0 0.86. I think that should go. 0 0.80. 86 so if I hit enter right now so this is what I have I'm gonna actually be bringing this one right here right now so this is where this one is gonna sit right so exactly so this is what we have if you look if you look vividly what we have right on this particular aspect right here right now so we're gonna see that we've arrived at something just like this can you look at this this is what it is so right now we can start creating our analysis at the back end and we can now have the flexibility to actually have it right there so for every other thing that is actually left tutorial i'm going to actually look at how we can actually start making our dashboard rightly where it should be right now so right now we've actually got this right this is the first step you need to actually take to create your dynamic dashboard it is not all, always about the dynamism it is always about the beauty so now the first beauty is actually created let's see how the next tutorial is going to look like